Famous meatloaf. Uh, I say it's famous meatloaf because it is my favorite thing that I've ever cooked in my life and I love it and my daughter Courtney loves it. I've given out uh, some to other people and they love it and they just you know say oh my gosh this would be sold in restaurants. I'll take it as a compliment but my little joke, my little, uh, it's my little famous meatloaf. So I'm going to show you guys uh, my secret recipe and how I do my meatloaf. I've never filmed this. Uh, I don't usually let people know ingredients for certain items. This is one of them, um, but I'm going to share it with you guys. So let me prep the camera. So you guys can see pretty much what I'm doing hopefully okay so and I make a lot because people come for it so I got three pounds of hamburger meat I chopped up the fresh peppers and onions this is actually three peppers green peppers in here and one onion so this is probably too much but doesn't matter I have leftovers you know, I save it for other stuff. And then I use three eggs in my meatloaf. It's basically per pound. So I have three pounds of hamburger meat. I use three, three eggs. Okay, and then I mush it. Oh, I should have took my rings off. Darn it. Oh, well. That's okay. They were all washed anyway because I washed my hands. I washed the rings separately as I always do. But then I just forgot to take the rings off yet again. That's okay. No worries. I have special cleaning tools for my jewelry. And I am not a breadcrumb or rice person. That is not in my recipe. And that is one thing that sets me aside, sets me different from everybody else who makes meatloaves. Every single person that has made a meatloaf that I've eaten, they all either have breadcrumbs in it or rice in it. And that's not me. If it's rice, to me, it should be a glunky. Breadcrumbs, to me, it should be a meatball. Not the meatloaf, but you all make it the way you want because that's what sets us, uh, you know, that that's, that's what makes us. That's our recipes. Hello? So, yeah. Okay, so I got the egg all in here. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to add handfuls of my peppers and onions and then I mix all that up and that'll tell me I'll know exactly when to stop or if I need more Now here's my secret ingredients. <laughs> Ketchup. A1.
Worcestershire sauce. I sprinkle some oregano. My parsley. Some salt. And some pepper. Then I mix this up good. And she goes in the pan. The oven is preset 375. What I do is I cook it for 30 minutes. Um, every 30 minutes, it's one and a half hours total, but every 30 minutes I pull it out and I drain out the, the, oil, the grease. And I cover it with aluminum foil the first hour. The last 30 minutes, I uncover it and I drizzle some ketchup and some A1 on the top. Just go whoosh, 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 like that and then cook it for 30 minutes just like it is uncovered in the pan. And that's it. All right, I gotta wash my hands. Ugh. It smells good. Yeah, it does. It smells good. my pan and this one here is the Pyrex 7 by 11 so it's pretty much an 8x8 eight eight. you can use whatever but I usually mold it into the meatloaf shape shape and then plop it right in and I always make sure that it's, there's room for it to drain on the sides. And if you do not have room, then you need to use a bigger pan. So it's okay to be taller, but you need to have drainage room. That's why I drain it every 30 minutes. This is my three pound meatloaf. Let me see if I can get a picture of that for you. Okay, so it's my three pound meatloaf. I'm gonna wrap it in aluminum foil and then cook it for an hour and a half. And then later on, I'll just show you what it looks like, slice it up, whatever. Okay, but that's it. That's my secret uh, ingredients to my famous meatloaf. So thanks for watching. We'll see you when it's done. Okay, <clears throat> so the meatloaf is done. Now I just have to put some, I did my potatoes, added some chive. Hopefully you saw that. And then what I do is I take the ketchup. Okay, let me see if I can hold this. Yeah. And I just do that. Okay. And then I just take the A1. Come 
come on, come out. Okay. Just put a few drizzles around the top. Okay, just like that. No biggie. A few drops around top. Worcestershire, just a few drops around top. That's all. Okay. Then I stick it back in the oven for a little bit. This one I had to cook um, a little longer, but normally it's um, at 375 for an hour and a half. But I pulled it out three times and drained it. So actually this was in first. It's gone about two hours. So definitely an hour and a half to two hours. So I'm just going to stick this in here. And then I just want the top part to cook right in. And then it's done. So we'll check it in like ten minutes. Okay. So my meatloaf is done. I have the broccoli in the microwave. So always got to have mashed potatoes with my meatloaf and it's usually broccoli or corn. Sometimes green beans, but I don't know why, but I always preferred broccoli. But anyway, so that is my, it's really quick and easy, seriously. You just grab all the ingredients and you just mush it all together. So, but that's my meatloaf guys. And hope you enjoyed it. And my broccoli is almost done. I'm going to have some. My daughter's Ubering tonight, so she's going to swing by. And she's going to get some uh, some of this meal. And she's going to get some of the linguine and shrimp I got from Red Lobster the other day. Because I brought home a lot. And I just can't eat anymore. And she's good on the pot roast. And she's good on the turkey chili. So I've been cooking lately. So just wanted to record a couple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Just showing you um, my secret meatloaf. Like I said, no one knows this recipe except for Courtney. So now I'm telling the world. So, and that's a big deal for me. So, yeah. It was one of the things that if I had a little cafe and I serve foods and stuff, this is one thing that I was going to make and serve. But, you know, dreams come and go. What are you going to do? Have a great day, guys like comment share subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys on my next one bye